Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the show, and we had a birthday! Channel is a year old now, and I thought, why not share exactly how much it's made over that course of time? And there's a lot of people out there that are aspiring, they like, maybe want to take the plunge, think they might give this a try, uh, and they would just want to know, is it worth my time? Is it something that, if you're trying to financially do this as a career, how long does it take? What kind of effort is put in? So we're going to share exactly how long it took to get monetized, all the stats, everything. So we're gonna show you exactly how much money we made total for the entire time that the channel's been up, been monetized, how many views it took to get there, and how many videos we made. And we'll show you the, vi the video that made the most money. So uh, hang out and we're gonna get into all the details and try to make this as easy to digest as possible. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, when you make your YouTube channel, you have to decide what it's going to be about and youtube really leans into channels that uh handle a specific topic and for me this channel here has primarily been about just video games and content on how to make builds some of them have a funny spin on them and it's basically about covering video games however we have made videos on podcasts, vlogging videos, and other things. I don't want to be trapped in the box. I would like to make all kinds of different types of YouTubes that express just like who I am as a content creator. And I just want to have fun. I want to make people laugh and I want to make uh, friendships out of this. So that's where my head is at. I don't like being painted into a box, but uh, you might have something that you are really good at and that's what you want to make content on. And I suggest that you go really far that way. Uh, Covering lots of different topics is not always the way to go, and it can be risky, but uh, to each their own, right? So I, uh, I'm i venturing out into podcasting and vlogging and all the other stuff while also doing YouTube videos. Now, to give you uh, some context to exactly how many videos I've made to get to the point I'm at now, this is, uh, this is a secondary channel, as you'll see here. This is not the main channel. The main channel is just over 5,000 subs, 376 videos. So over one per day in the last year. So that's a lot. Most would recommend doing one or two per week and just staying on a schedule. Uh, I'm a try hard at everything I do. So that's just, it's just me, man. I really want to do this for, for a living for. So just to show you, this is another channel half send the s and the five are different another 95 videos 647 subscribers and just to show you how the algorithm is kind of goofy that channel actually has a video with over 700,000 views on it but did not get monetized so you see 647 uh, subs some of the videos have 30,000, obviously one with 700,000, uh, 20,000 views, etc. Some of them, if you put out videos less frequently, they generally take a couple years to get going. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get things moving along a little quicker, sometimes it helps to consistently put out a lot more videos. So the other channel we made is Smash Bros Kitchen Addiction. So the previous one was more of a vloggy channel just covered uh there's cars and vlogs and in just trying it's a vlog channel predominantly now the main channel do do vlogs there as well this channel is uh smash bros kitchen addiction it is a food channel with a funny spin on everything we try to make the it's entertainment at the end of the day so in total we have made 593 videos so just keep that in mind. Lots of videos trying different things, different channels, and you just kind of wait till something. Otherwise, it's the grind. And just, just know that in, before you make your first channel and you start dropping videos, there's a little bit of a grind to it. Okay, now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes, and that is uh, some analytics for you. Uh, this is Lifetime. In the lifetime of the channel, as I said, it's uh, one year. We've had 8.7 million uh, impressions and a total of 834,000 views. Now, why this is important is down at the bottom here, as I told you, it wasn't until July, so you see there, July 1st 
was when the impressions, the average views, when everything was starting to increase. First six months of the channel, it did next to nothing. So July 1st, six months ago, things started to pick up. And as you see, uh, all the way up to September 1st, where the impressions were obviously dramatically higher, 181,000 just that day alone. Over time, things started to increase and the channel finally got monetized. So the previous channel I showed you where it had about 100 videos and had a, a video with 700,000 views and did not get monetized, uh, it was unable to run ads because of that. This channel in just one week was able to get monetized. So through the span of July 1st to, it was literally seven days, we met the requirements for monetization, which is 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month period. So anytime in one year, if you're able to hit that, you qualify for monetization. So just keep that in mind. If this is something that you do, that's a prerequisite. So here we're gonna get into September was the very best month. As you can see over in the corner, this is September 1st to September 30th. 30th. This is the very best month the channel has ever had. $1,287.65. And the important thing you know, these other analytics here, this is RPM. And what that is, is it's how much YouTube pays me for every 1,000 hours, okay? This other uh, metric here is CPM. And CPM is what the advertiser pays YouTube before the split happens where they pay, YouTube takes their cut out. So just keep that in mind. That has a lot to do, well, not a lot, everything to do with what kind of channel it is. So if we were making Minecraft videos and our audience was very young people, the RPM and CPM would be much, much lower because uh, your audience uh, is young people that probably aren't spending money. So if this was a channel about, uh, or your channel was about financial advice, real estate, things like that, the RPM and CPM can get up to very, uh, very dramatically higher numbers. Uh, I've seen RPM uh, upwards in the $20 range, which is a lot. You're talking about substantial, substantially more money per thousand clicks and thus a channel with uh, 50,000 views on a video might make a decent amount of money uh, based on the RPM and CPM, obviously. That particular month, RPM, $3.98 is pretty low. So not great, keep that in mind. That number changes over time depending on a lot of things on YouTube side. So uh, this is September 1st, through the 30th. Now this is just one month. We've had 3.4 million impressions and 324,000 views in that month. So that was the best month we'd ever had. Now this is the ongoing in the current state right now. As you can see, it's not anything you're gonna leave your job over if you do this on the side and you're trying to build your channel up. This is over the last 28 days and it's ongoing. So it will, as you see up there, December 13th is when this started. So January 13th is when they'll, this will finish uh, paying out the revenue based on the RPM. Now there's something you'll notice here, the RPM here is higher than it was in the month where I did the best. So if that RPM, $3.98 for the RPM there, and here it's $5.58. In the grand scheme of things, that's percentage-wise, that's a decent amount more. So if I had those same views now, the end result of the dollar amount would be way more money. So just keep that in mind. So this is the lifetime views. So all the videos added up, 834,000 views we've gotten with 70,000 watch hours. And the total amount of revenue in that time period has been just under $3,000. So that means all in, all of those videos I've done have made me just under $3,000. But also keep in mind, this is technically only over amount of time of six months of being monetized. So before you average that out and want to figure out what I've made exactly, 
there's two different things you have to look at. So the channel, we've been putting work in for over the course of one year, but the actual time frame to which the monetization took effect has only been six months. So let me know if this is a lot less or a lot more money than what you thought it was going to be. Definitely not enough that you can go quit your job over it and do this for, for a career, but uh, it shows you what is possible. And as this ramps up, you can see that uh, there's what the potential is. So now we're gonna get into another thing. I'm gonna take myself out of the way and I'm gonna show you what each video makes per average. So this metric right here is showing the top 50 results for views for in the revenue made. So down here at the very bottom, you'll see this video had 2,860 views. And over here, you'll say, see that it made just, uh, just under $18. So not a lot, but interestingly enough, right over the top of it, there's a video that made uh, just over double the amount of views and made literally the exact amount of money. So interesting. Uh, so all these metrics are very, very wild in what the end re result uh, tends to be. Now, as we scroll up, you'll see that there's, here's one close to the $9,023. So a lot more views than that one, not a lot more money. So as we scroll up here, you'll see the views and then over here to the right, how much money that video made in context. So 8,000 views, $36. Now we're gonna keep going up and you're gonna see, so this video right here, almost 30,000 views. This is the best Ironman PVP, PVE build. And this one got just under 30,000 views, 36 bucks. So not a lot for the amount of change here. But look at, this is the video that's competing with it money-wise. Look at this, 6,000 views, dramatically less, literally identical to the amount of money. Isn't that crazy? So there's a lot of factors per video that come into play. And as we scroll up, we're gonna get right up to some of the videos. Now, as you can see over here, the dollar amount for the videos is starting to increase all the way to the video that made the most money which was $144, so just under $150 for a video. And that was the Doctor Strange deep dive with the most powerful player in the game. So, and that netted 116 subscribers. Uh, and geez, that video alone uh, almost met the requirement to get monetized all by itself. 23,000 views. So yeah, and then you'll see, interestingly enough, if we go buy views, the video that had the most views at 36,000 views made 50, 50 bucks less. And that's how to build a pro captain in America. So there you have it. That is the amount I've made over being monetized for six months on YouTube and being on the, the having a channel that is one year old. So was it a lot more, a lot less than you thought? Was it right around where you believed it was going to be? Uh, how did you feel about the work that was involved to get there? And uh, is this something that you want to try? If you guys have any more questions, uh, you know, I'm a open book and I'll help any way I can. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.